Roosters prop Martin Kennedy says Jared Hayne will be the biggest threat to the tricolours when the two sides clash on Easter Monday, following the Parramatta captain announcing this week he has re-signed with the club. Hayne put pen to paper, securing a new two-year deal with the Eels to see him out until the end of the 2015 season. Kennedy says limiting Hayne's time with the ball will be key to controlling the Eels on Monday night. He's, um, he's such a top-class player anyway, you know, you sort of want him to be off his game as much as possible, not, um, not coming up to playing us this week when he's just re-signed and you know, there's so much positive um, atmosphere out there at the moment. The Roosters anticipate the whole side to lift following the news, claiming big signings are what led them to claiming two wins so far this season. If like a big player that's re-signed here, I'd definitely be um, excited that they're here and not going anywhere else. So I think, yeah, it'd mainly have a positive impact. So. The Roosters are coming off a solid defensive performance against the Broncos, keeping them scoreless during round three. But Friend concedes their attack needs a lot of attention if they want to keep that momentum. We're definitely getting better each week, so that's the main thing that we've talked about. Um, we were pretty happy with our defence last week, but um, you can't just do things for one game. So we want to want to continue on with our with our defence, and hopefully our attack will will um, come along with that. Aidan Guerra joins Kennedy, Daniel Mortimer and Mitchell Orbison on a four-man bench, stepping in to replace suspended second rower Luke O'Donnell. Kennedy says it will be a tough clash and is expecting a massive home crowd to turn out and cheer the tricolours to victory. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you know, everyone's got a few extra days off over the weekend, so hopefully they're not too, uh, too sick from eating too much chocolate and they can get out to the game and, and support us. Amy Lindsell for NRL.com.